Welcome to this weekend's project. This weekend, I got something that I know a lot of you have been thinking about in the back of your mind that would end up happening. What did I do? I know, many of you were already expecting it. Join me, because this is gonna be one heck of a nice project. Okay, so let me start by walking you guys around the boat. Um, she's not in bad shape. She's actually in very decent shape. Pontoons are in great shape. All of the um, the rails are in perfect condition. However, um, I really do want to change the appearance of the pontoon in general. Uh, is it water ready? Absolutely. Absolutely. Engine has about uh, 640 hours, which... For those of you that are not familiar with boating, that comes to about 30,000 miles, an equivalent, more or less, uh, for a car in comparison. So, yeah, that's not used at all. Um, the cowling on the engine, the original cowling, was stolen from the previous owner. And for those of you that know outboard motors, that's a $600 cowling if it's in good condition. It's a 115 horsepower four stroke. So what did he do? He did the next best thing and bought this badly painted cowling for a fraction of the price, I think 250, uh, which is fine because I bought the paint for that and I'm gonna be repainting it. And I also bought the decals for it. So that's gonna get completely revamped. Um, pontoons I'm gonna do away with all that black bottom paint the previous owner used to have it parked uh, on a canal so he needed the black bottom paint I don't need it I'm gonna be refurbishing these pontoons big time um, so on the exterior basically what I plan on doing is removing all of the railing removing um, everything basically from the actual pontoon itself i'm going to paint it black a lot of these modern pontoons have a different exterior darker blacks the grays dark grays and that's what's happening now so i'm going to do that um i already ordered the bumper guards here for the pontoon tips um trailer is in really good shape with the exception of the actual fenders fenders Probably gonna have to get replaced both of them other than that um, the bunks are great there's no major rust on the trailer but uh, let's go upstairs and take a look on the inside yeah I know right good news is the floor is actually in really great shape floor is about five years old uh, but the interior or the upholstery should I say has seen way better days yeah, there's uh, no, there's nothing left here. Nothing at all. Uh, according to the previous owner, uh, the interior was aged, but completely whole with no rips until Hurricane Ian. Apparently the wind ended up absolutely destroying wind and debris. And then come the uh, birds and, you know, all that. What usually happens after everything gets torn. And anyway seats are going bye-bye but i do have good news and let me show you what i mean yep there's a second trailer in my house and i'll show you why i have purchased all of the seats that i need to replace for that pontoon so i got a lot of work to do but it's all here including the captain's chair which you saw was in deplorable shape in my boat but it's all here and more i even got a recliner for free so i'm going to incorporate that into the boat somehow 
Um, yeah. Uh, the trailer actually belongs to my father. Um, I don't need a second trailer, no. But he knows that this trailer is full of all of my F-150 and Lincoln Town Car stuff. So he let me borrow his, which he uses it uh, never. Like yesteryear. Uh, there's a word for it. Anyway, back to the boat. So the idea is to vamp up the appearance on the boat because it is water ready. I could have put it in the water this very weekend if I wanted to, but you guys saw that interior. Uh, it's time to act upon it. I really need to take stuff apart. And I'm going to be using a lot of the high speed because I really don't want to bore you guys. Um, this is super easy to take apart. These are just held every so many feet with that right there see so it's gonna be quite easy to take them off uh, question is how well will, will they do with paint um, I've seen a lot of people do it and there's no reason why I can't do it so let's get with the program hit the high speed and start taking crap off of this boat Got me real good, yeah One more time, oh I got it real bad, yeah What's my crime, my day don't move for when my guests arrive. Backyard patio. Yep. And by guests, I mean the raccoons, the rabbits, the possums. What else do I have here? How many 
haven't seen wild boar anymore or deer. What else do I have here? Cats? No bears, not in the six mile radius. Get the occasional snake. Those will make their way in here somehow. You know. Not procrastinating. Let's go. conclude the first part of this pontoon project. I am so hot that I'm getting goosebumps. That's how hot I am. It's It's been a day, okay? okay. Uh, I got a lot to think about. I already know the floor plan. It's going to be very similar to how it was before, except I'm not going to have a sectional in the back. Um, I got to figure out how I'm going to lay things back here. Um, I'd really rather create a box just for the fuel tank and that's it. One less item that has to be here, a little bit less weight. Uh, I'm just, I'm beat. I can't think straight. The plan is I want to use it in the next month. So I've got to, uh, if you think about it, I don't have a month. I have eight days, two days, Saturdays and Sundays, four weekends, that's eight days. So. The idea is to, in eight days, can I restore this pontoon? I'm gonna leave the floor, I'm gonna leave the carpet, but I'm gonna revamp it. And you'll see what I mean. This will probably happen in the next episode. I got a lot more disassembly to do. Uh, I'm gonna disassemble the console, but I'm not gonna move it. I'm going to lift it and kind of tilt it to where I can clean below it. Um, I'm just 
I'm tired, guys. Stay tuned because there's a lot that's going to happen. And my son's coming along for the ride. So you guys might as well come along for the ride, too. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and what? What? What's it called? The bell icon. The bell icon. That way you're notified the next time I upload another video. Stay tuned for part two. Yeah, stay tuned for part two. I don't know how many parts it's going to be. I, I, I haven't pre-recorded everything. Uh, this is where I'm at now. And next week will be another one. And maybe the weekend after I'll go back to doing something car related. Uh, but for now, I really want to concentrate on this because I want to take the family out. See you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.